Dream Dog, Babies Up, for the final time this series, evening, afternoon, morning, koshers. How are we doing? Simply, simply uncalled for. You've been away for two weeks, haven't you? So you've got to expect that. A little bit coming of... strong for the last episode of the series. Fuck me, are we not allowed a break? Like, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> you've been, you've already we've been, been. working. We've been, we've been on the grindstone while you've been You've been away off. and he were away while I were away. So you can both fucking knack us. Have you had a good time? Yeah, very good. You're looking good. Yeah. Bronze. Housewives yeah. favourite, innit? Oh. Yeah. So it happened at every football club. Housewives favourite. You know, like the plumper version. <laughs> like the, they think I were attainable. How, how was it? Do you good, enjoy good. It? Yeah. Two weeks, probably three days too long with four bins, with four kids. Did they all get on? Yeah, mainly. Yeah, li- little spat here and there, but no. Nothing you can sort out. Nothing that... Hey, when, you've got a, when you've got a nursery teacher in the camp, there's no a problem, fo- is there? I'm in each stroke, that's what's that. You know <laughs> what I mean? But no, it was, it was really good. Really good, I mean... I tell you what, you're looking better than I thought you would do, coming back a couple of weeks in All Inclusive. I reckon I've lost timber. Get out. Out. Get out. I'm telling you, I eat less on holiday. I thought you'd be coming back in a snide tabard. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring any gear back with you? Eh? Did you bring any clothing back with you? Oh, I thought, I thought, I thought you were on about two, two kilograms of cocaine then. <laughs> now too big a risk. Uh, no, no, I didn't, I didn't buy one. You're getting the markets and that. Some good gear to be had. I thought, I thought you'd be all over it. Belts and... Do you think I want to go on holiday and go to a market? Tig watch and all that stuff. Yeah. Why, why would I, why do you go, where do you go shopping on holiday like? Oh, I wonder at market. It's a bit of an haggle. Are you a good haggler? Terrible oh, the best. Me. Fuck the best. <laughs> to be fair, I, I can't. I can't do it, me. I can't. On that subject, to be fair, hey, obviously sent kids to shop with some money for in, in hotel, so they came back and they must just they must have paid over odds, whatever, because they must have took advantage because they were kids. So they went in. One of one of the girls wanted a couple of bracelets for her pals, and my missus went, "Watch this. I'll sort this out." <laughs> so she went in. She went. Uh, these two bracelets here, 200, whatever it fucking is. And he, he went, look on his calculator, and he went, 102. <laughs> <laughs> I said, fucking some aggler you are, love, aren't you? You were about to pay double than what they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, I'll win my send next time. <laughs> <laughs> 200. <laughs> yeah, she went, these two bracelets, 200. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. 102. <laughs> ah, go on then. <laughs> Deal. Yeah. I, I looked, I just fucking looked at that piss me then. Tell you what though, some fu- arrogant bastards. Or, horrible. Or, unless you, well, I'm not going to give a fuck if we've got Russian listeners. Horrible bastards. Really? Yeah. It's There's not a lot of generalisation. No, just sure like some not. nice Russians out there. Oh, I never say please, I thank you. No, they? just like tomato to bar staff. No need, is there? Is this border on racism? I'm... No, 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 no. It's just, just manners and stuff, isn't it, Chris? Yeah. Like barging past, you know, like barging past you when you're trying to get your snap and that. Right, yeah. And just walking to the front well, of kills. It's just difference in cultures, isn't it? Well, I think it's that culture is Survival of the fittest. No, yeah. it's rude. No. I'm not bothered what, I'm not, not, well, just bollocks. I just don't, I didn't like it. I feel so, like he's shouting a bit, Matty. Is he? He's angry, isn't he? Yeah, because yeah. I don't like it. Like, these, the, the bar staff, right, they're, they're just doing the job. Just two meto or two sambuka. I bet they didn't click the fingers, though, did they? Who, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Where was it when he got the hanky out? <laughs> Bournemouth. <laughs> Bournemouth. <laughs> two, two sammy girls. <laughs> <laughs> but it was only to, because they couldn't see me at back. Yes. So the more San Miguel's come, the ruder he gets. <laughs> no, thank no, you. No, no, no. Uh, you really Obviously, you can hand. tell. You're like, you're like a damsel waving his waving a soldier husband off to war. You can tell. Platform. You can tell it with me aggression about the the real people that I'm obviously not a real person. Yeah, just like I've got three lilos right, and the people are barging past me to get out at lift. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, get the, you are not getting in a lift with three lilos. You're right, I am. There's no room for nobody else. Right, I am. So, yeah, r- rude people. Don't like rude people. No one is they? You, no. had a good, you had a good time, though. Yeah, very good, very good. I mean... What factor did you go for? Started on 30, burnt to a crisp, and then I pr- progressively went lower. <laughs> to get the oil involved. <laughs> no, crisp and dry. Uh, to be honest, yeah, by end, end, I had enough sunlight. 
You know what I mean? I were like one percent fat spray. I were like, <laughs> oh my, <I> like, <laughs> like oh, oh, yeah, so yeah. I had enough sunlight. T- ten days is enough, I think. Ten days is enough. Yeah. I'm glad you like had a good time. Day. So I don't know if you know, lads, but I'm going away again in two weeks. Where are you going? Benny Dorm. Fuck me. For yeah. how long for? Uh, three nights. 25th. Of, if anybody's in Benny Dorm, what 25th? If Charm is here, what? Anybody's in Benny Dorm, what 25th on, of on June? A, on a jolly jolly. Feel free to with lads that yeah. yeah. Feel free to buy us a drink. Uh, are we on the Segway Segway show? I'll be watching the Segway Sex Right. I will. Is it still going? Is it? Fuck is it? Oh. Who was the other the woman? But to be fair, they've both got rubber gloves on now, you know, for COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it was the woman, the famous woman that did it. And then her daughter did it. Oh, Sticky Vicky. Sticky Vicky. Uh-huh. Oh, we might go and see her. Last time, went, time went, last time I went, we watched Pete Loaf three nights in a row. Pete Loaf? Well, obviously it's not Meat Loaf, yeah. is it? We watched Pete Loaf three nights what's, in a row. What's Vicky's daughter called? I'm not sure. Tacky, she's just a sticky Tacky daughter. Tacky Yeah, she's just, she's just a talented. <laughs> and then I go away again up 3rd of July and all that's... Just let Jesus. you know. Jesus. Oh, by the way, we've got a walk coming up. I forgot about that. When? Oh, yeah, we have. Walking's brilliant. Are you doing it, Chris? I, I, I think so, yeah. You're, I, well, you're, you dropped out. I'm at a wedding. I'm in Ireland for Are a wedding. Are you not doing it? I'm doing the back end. Two of them. Because there's three peaks in it. Yeah. I'm doing the last two. You're doing the descent. Doing the hardest two. <laughs> the last day. I'm, I might be doing the first one, because this time He's I'm getting not. stanner up and walking down. Do you know what... Uh, for the course to course, I did a little bit of walking. This time I've done fuck all. At, so, like not like nothing. When is Can't it? Can't be as hard as that, man. 18th of uh, this month. Just so you best let Rose know. <sighs> mental, <laughs> mental attitude. Mm. Get I'm start wearing my boots right now. Gets you through it. Just wear your vans, man, Chrissy. Yeah. yeah a piece of right, piss. Man. Did it in trainers last time? So it was yeah, like you did it all, did you? What about, um, <laughs> oh yeah, what, what was it, shin splints? <laughs> Fuck off, shin splints. Shin splints, I came down on crutches. <laughs> my, my feet won't fit me flip-flops. <laughs> Fucking crutches and a neck brace. <laughs> <laughs> my feet won't fit me flip-flops. He came down I like... I need clown shoes for get down. He came down like Brian Potter. <laughs> Covid <laughs> and all that we found out later on. Ah, you gotta get through it, aren't you? So uh, shin splints. If, I know, uh, dickhead. Shin splints. You get it from age twelve to fourteen, but you got them at thirty six. <laughs> I'm still growing, aren't I? <laughs> so yeah, I'm sure we can put a link in for the just giving page and yeah. that, can't we? Uh, so yeah, fucking busy month. I we? think it's going to be harder than what we think as well. Because well, last year, you think last year I couldn't get any harder, but. You think it is? Oh, well, big, you, big mountains, aren't they? You, big you, old it's all right talking, isn't it, when you're not fucking coming? <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be at the back stick. Yeah. Just not just not making the run to it. Just, no, just ending up there. Yeah. The final episode of the series, having a, we'll have a look back at the series gone by See, the, and, and some of the best Patreon episodes because we've had some crackers on the Patreons. Yeah. I might as well not be here. A massive like. thanks to you, <laughs> Patreons. <laughs> I'll let you know, I might as well not be here. Why? Because I can't remember fucking any of them. So you, you might just, I'll just sit quiet. No, but a massive thanks to all the Patreons that have uh, that have been listening and and helping us along. Cause it, I, it helps, doesn't it? I think this has been one of the best series for me, personally. The best for me. And I don't think it would, would be without the help of the Patreons yeah. making it possible. I can't remember the se- this series or any of the others. Who's been your favourite this series? I know it's tough. Let's have a I know look, it's tough. Let's have a look at the list. Uh, don't, you've took my list. I can't see. Do you know I what? Remember. Just because I wasn't expecting much, Jeff the ref. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if I'm honest, when he used to referee, and he never—I don't think he ever refereed us, but just watching from afar, I thought it comes across as a bit of a tool. Yeah. But as soon as he walked in, I was like, "Nah, you're all right." Surprise me, man bag. Man bag and yeah. 1992 Nike tracksuit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where he's pulled that Referee from. Referee issue, that's that as well. Yeah, but I think. You, would you agree? I would agree. Yeah, yeah I, I would just look going down that list then. I mean, Steve Howie, some great stories. Steve Howie. See, I knew They've Steve Howie was a great lad, but I didn't, I didn't know how, how funny he were. Because he's quite serious when we have a drink with him and that, innit? Yeah. He's quite like, not serious, but he's straight. He don't really get involved. You know what I mean? So the, I'd hate for we stay out here and him on a bad hungry, hungry John oh, together in a corner. Next to a group Oof. of rude yeah. people. 
Yeah, real Russians. Mm. But no, I think you you hit the nail on the head there with Jeff. Yeah. And it's just, uh, like I say, until you meet people, you can't really comment, can you? Oh, yeah. You get your... But I like the, the the surprises as well, you know, Sonny Sonny Pike and Jimmy Glass, like more interesting stories. It's mad, isn't it? Because it's we've kind of gone down a road of young kids, isn't it? The best way to nurture them and out and you know, Sonny, we had Sonny on, and then ever since every episode, we've Everybody's there's been a talking a, point. A, a theme. Brad, Brad yeah. was talking about it. Bradley Orr as well. What what an episode that was. That was Matt like, Letizia. We went, we had Legod on. I know. Mm. I don't think we realise us. I don't think we as as us. I don't think we actually realise he's an absolute Premier League legend. And there we are in his house with a cockerel, yeah, trampoline. Coffee wasn't the best. Can I? <laughs> can I put that forward? Dog, or? dog with her as well. Yeah, the and dog, the, dog, dog was an annoyance. All right. Do you think the dog will be well, a lot more well behaved than uh, Martin Allen's? <laughs> yeah, just a little shit, wasn't it? <laughs> I spoke to um, one of the lads at Blackburn who was there, you know, the Enzunzi game. Yeah. And he said there's a clip from it, and Blackburn were on the counter attack, the receiving end of a counter attack, whatever that is. Defending a Defending counter attack. Defending a, ca- a counter attack. Fuck me, we have been out of the game a long time, haven't we? And David Dunn made up 30 yards on him, on Enzunzi, to track back. And as good as Dunny is, he was not known for his defensive forward play. Oh, oh, running quickly. Yeah, made up thirty yards past him to. I wonder, did he get? Did he get dragged? No, he did the full ninety. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, they're both true. We, the lad that I spoke to, GV didn't fancy. Obviously, it was when Dyer and Sinclair. Remember when they were just shit hot? So he's like, I don't really want to be exposed against Nathan Dyer. Right, so it had a Get lot me. to do with the opposition as well. Scott Sinclair. So it was him on the left, Dyer on the right, and they just used to... Yeah. And if you, you don't want to be a left-back trying open, to get a move, do you? Yeah, no. well, I'm just going to say that. If he's open for a move, you don't want his pants pulled yeah. down. Get me uh, get me tucked in, Steve. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it's fun. Yeah, but really, uh, hopefully everybody agrees, another really good series. Yeah. Like I said, my, one of, I think my fa- favourite series. Who's still, your favourite? I'm starting to get hang of it. Now, the series, um, it's, a, it's a tough one again. I, 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 I'm inclined to agree with you with Jeff, but not knowing what to expect. And then he he just came in like a wrecking ball, didn't he? Seems uh, like a I really enjoy I, I really enjoy Craig Davies as well. Craig, yes, Brilliant. he was up there, and he loves it as well. He's he's made his own State little screen. He's made his own little screen recordings. You know, when talking about. Um, was it Bolton or Blackpool came as Inter Milan or Prime Name, uh, Neymar and Messi? Yeah. He's done his own screen recording. So any, <laughs> any game that gets, she was like, this is, this is Jose or... He's going to have state mate merch by end of year, I'm <laughs> telling you now. <laughs> Seems a long time ago Matt Jarvis released, doesn't it? Mm. Imagine it's nearly four months, isn't it, the series? Mm. And we recorded them back end of the year, didn't we? Mm. So yeah, it's been a good series and we'll be back in August, well, we can get onto this at the end of the episode, but we'll be back in August for another series. We'll, get, we'll, we'll not stop, obviously, John's going to be away most of the time, but mm. when John's back in the country, we'll be recording non-stop. You're not having another holiday? No. No? But got, got to drive us forward, Chris, haven't we? Got we've, got dri- we've got to drive us forward. <laughs> oh, there's all kinds going on behind the scenes, John. I don't even... I don't, I, the fact that you were letting him say that is a disgrace. <laughs> I think you agree. We're going to drive us forward. <laughs> I well, you're Matty, all I'll never forget Matty. No. It's, to be fair, he's had a few appearances this year, hasn't yeah. he? It was a bit odd, you know, when it was Bradley Orient, Roni came and just stood on my left shoulder. and Brent esque. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brent. <laughs> I think there, were, there were one scene actually during the Warren Feeney one, and, and I, when I watched it back, I thought, why has there not been a cut there? Why, why has it not? And then a couple of seconds later, Matty appeared in Mirror, and I thought, oh, that's why there's not right. been a cut there. Just quick thumbs up in Mirror. <laughs> Very quickly, gents, we've got to mention Spitch as well, sponsoring this episode. Hell of a game. I mean, we're hopefully going to have some under-the-cosh leagues next season. and I'm excited about this, me. Well, I am as well, but not because I'm knowledgeable on football, but the fact that you can change it every week. Yeah. Keep it fresh. Enter every week. You don't have to enter every week if you don't want to, if you forget. 
because that's why I that's why I've never really done them football fancy football leagues. Well, that's when you come in your own, isn't it? Oh, unbelievable! Studying I'm, I'm gonna be every every Friday. I'm gonna have my suit on, and my phone. <laughs> Briefcase. Right. Does that mean you'd be a soap manager, not a track suit well, one? Well, I'm going to see how we go over the course of the season. But, but, I mean, we spoke about it before. Spitch is a new app, and it's the Fantasy Football Weekly game. And we're going to hopefully have some under-the-cosh leagues we're in next season. And like I say, you can change your, your team every week. So The whole 11, man. The whole 11. Like I say, you, you lose interest. Oh, I do it anyway. I lose interest over the course of the season doing it over, over a season. But this, you pick your team every week, and you can put one in. And you can uh, win the pot. There's up up to seventy thousand pound every week to be won. I think it'll be a competitive league as well because I think our followers are very knowledgeable, aren't they? Yeah. So it'll be it'll be good to win. Yeah. Yeah. So the links in the description. You can download the app, get playing with it right over the summer, ready for next season. But obviously, you've got to be eighteen. You've got to be eighteen or over. BeGamblerWare.org. Get yourself involved. See you at the back stick. What else we got coming up, lads? Well, I've got also I um, put an appeal out, and we've got a few questions in um, from f- from listeners. Yeah, from listeners. What are we calling them? Listeners, fans, followers, listeners, 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 and viewers. Right, not fans. I will go with fans. <laughs> yeah, you, fans. you two have been assholes since I've been away, haven't you? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> self pretentious assholes, <laughs> worshippers. <laughs> Too much? Nah. All massively. I think you've got you've got a bit of Russian in you. We've got. <laughs> I've got. We've got some questions about the series gone past, gone by. Should I say and this series just with people that are mentioned. But then I've also got another little segment that I thought I'd do for this one. It's, Is this uh, your own little segment or? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's some of the questions. You know, we get them random questions it's in the in the window. Just yeah, put yeah. in patch. Oh yeah. 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 You're struggling there, John. FS that. Let's see your belly button. FS. Your lats are looking good though. Oh, by the way, I can't leave that in a minute onto uh, onto Twitter or out. Remember when I sent you my gym session? Oh, no, did you go to gym while you were on holiday? You know what I did? Because I sent you a video, you asshole. Did, 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 was that the only... Did, did you just do it for video, though, didn't you? You weren't in there. Me, 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 Oliver wanted to go to the gym every day. Did he? Yeah. So I'm thinking probably not mine. <laughs> so I had to go in with him to supervise. So I thought, well, I'm in there. I might as well, I might as well chuck some. Sure, fucking, it's done. Might as well chuck some thirties about on the bench press. I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry, your tits the next day. Oh my god, filth, <laughs> filth. And I think the next day we did that. Did you feeling bouncing when you're going downstairs? You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know the next day, dickhead. <laughs> and then you know the where you get pulled up back at a speedboat, mm. but it's like a. It's like a big ring, but not a ring, if you know what I mean. And you've got to hold on. Fuck me. So I did that the day after. My tits are only just coming round. <laughs> Is this the start of summer then? Are you going to carry it on? In fact, I actually quite enjoyed it. You know, like get, getting a sweat on for the first time in four years. But I think it was just a temperature. <laughs> did you get a good um, belly button? Oh, I, I, to be fair, now the belly button's expanding a little bit. I, I can actually squirt people with That's the best part, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. You, know, you don't usually get it in, though, because you usually fill it with ketchup, don't you? Did me chip in. No, but I've got, I've got another little segment here from those old questions, them weird, random weird questions and that we get. So I'm going to call this segment uh, Getting to Know You. Getting to Know hmm. You. So, we're, I mean, we can so get... these questions for us? Yeah, I mean... Can we find just them you, though? Yeah, if you want. Have you ever stolen anything? I steal a carrier bag quite regularly from Asda. Yeah. Do you, know what, do you know what I think? You know, co-op, they do... Um, they have um, the carrier bags, the food bags, recycling bags, which cost a fortune. So I always get one bag and then stick an handful uh, of carrier bags bugger. in. Thinking. Cat litter. It was a steel cat litter... I've not even got a cat. Eh? <laughs> I've not even got a cat. No, but it's a thrill. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thrill of it? Yeah. So what you do is, if anybody's got a cat, just put it on the, you know, the hook at the back of the, uh, of the trolley. 
Just stick a little cat litter on there. Yeah, but why not just get a compost or something that you might oh. need? Why cat no, litter? Because there's no, there's no, there's no oak, on oak on compost, is there? <laughs> so what have you been doing with all this cat litter? Uh, I just leave it outside at car park, <laughs> next to the car. <laughs> It is the buzz though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, you, you, you bet you've nicked some. Oh, I've nicked some. You've stuck some stuff. You've stuck a few hearts, haven't you? <laughs> it's like you said, though, it's the buzz. It's more difficult now, but you know, the old ferret steaks. Yeah. So you'd beep, beep with your mushrooms and your onions, and then just see if you could get away with. Just you, sneaking, you make the noise. Just sneaking the ferret steak round the beep. scanner. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> So, you just saw this thing, this self service art, though, it's fucking on blink. <laughs> uh, what else stole? Clothing's hardened. I know somebody who. <laughs> who, <laughs> who <laughs> used to go into TK Maxx with a shit pair of jeans on and <laughs> swap them. Swap them. So, take a pair from the shirt thingy, try them on, take the tag off, put the other ones back on the hanger, and hang them back yeah. up. Yeah. But it's still. Masterclass. It's still Nick's shit jeans. <laughs> <laughs> You should try it. <laughs> One of my favourites is hotel breakfast. That's like a challenge That's, uh, now, collectively. Yeah. Premier Inn. Yeah. Well, and, and any inn. <laughs> <laughs> but Premier Inn is a sloppy though. It's like I getting find. past security, you know, like kind of get in here and then uh, before you know it, you, you, you're filling your boots. That one in Bournemouth thought it was like Fort Knox. Oh, no, he weren't letting yeah. no one through. It came out of nowhere. You, I think you did not manage to do it, though, didn't you? <laughs> we, uh, well, I've got a few distraction techniques. <laughs> talk about distraction <laughs> techniques. Can we talk about the um, me getting the rucksack into Wembley? Mm. I well, don't know how you got it in. I've got you to thank. Oh, oh okay. yeah. So at the bottom of the stairs, there was two stewards, weren't there? And the first one's absolutely no chance. You're not getting in. The bag's too big. So we've moved on to the next one. And you've just gone over and went... Is the other entrance and just pointed like that way, and she's obviously gone. <laughs> and I've just slipped in because somebody messaged it, on yeah. Instagram. How did you get it in? Yeah, yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. Somebody messaged I'm, I'm going to Wembley for the Forest final, and I've got quite a large rucksack. How did you get it in? So, Distraction then, tactics. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah, I remember it now. It's all coming back. It's all flooding back. You said someone like, is there, is there another entrance? I think down there? It, what, what's over there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Wembley. <laughs> as soon as she turned, slipped in. Yeah, I remember I've got it now. Question that. I like yeah. that one. Um, did you have you ever had a school fight? Have you ever had a fight at school? Once. Yeah. Once. I nearly got excluded. Did you win? Fucking <sighs> did I win? Tell you what happened, right? So you used to get on school bus at bottom of my dad's street, right? So double decker. So I get on one day and a lad from here above spat on me, right, from top deck. You know, Dan, jo Dan yeah. Jobby. So I shout, so do that ever again and I'll fucking kill you, right? So I got on school bus the next day, did it again. I weren't having it. So I've gone up the stairs, you know, around the spiral, and he were at the front, you know, where there were like one long seat and then one in the corner. And I've started hitting him, right, at the bottom of my dad's street. And I threw my last punch at school, <laughs> right? And it's three miles. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, and I've still got a big coat on, right? I've never, they had to carry him off. Puffer both. jacket. Big, big, yeah, big puffer. <laughs> they had to carry him off. <laughs> what on stretcher? I'm gone, yeah. Like the, 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 Nobody tried stopping you. No, they were stopping me. Nobody, oh. When it gets going, they're big and yeah. they take you know, some getting you know, off. When the eyes are gone. Three lads on each arm. Honestly, I've, so I, I, were, I were hitting him for three mile. Did you do it again? Never spat on me again. There's a lesson there. Never had another there? fight. Yeah, uh, I didn't either. Never, did you not have a school nah. fight? I'm a lover, Chris. Uh, yeah. but, but, I'm like, like as I said, the, the thing were like, look, I, I should be excluding you for this for a week. And I'm like, well, it's up to you, but. He must have been black and blue, was he? Oh, hi, we're fucked, hi. Yeah. I he can't spot even on. spit all his mouth for fuck. That. <laughs> so that's the only fight I had at school. Have you oh, seen I'm him since? Eh? Have you seen him since I he left? started bodybuilding now. He could fucking ejaculate. <laughs> he could ejaculate on me now and I won't say a thing. <laughs> You'd half enjoy it. Just, ch you? just chuck it down my kite, big one. <laughs> Have you? No, I'll never fight. I got spat on, but I didn't fight back. <laughs> it, were already, it were green as well. Oh, no, it weren't nice. It weren't nice. I remember, you know, you had them girls at school that were like, oh, yeah, we had, we had a few of them. There's always something going on, always a bit of drama. 
Uh, there were two in, in my class at school. Natalie Kinsley, Stephanie Mann, I still remember them now. <laughs> and they were a nightmare. Always some, you know, loud. Do you know when you said the names, you've got both fingers together like that. <laughs> no, that would have been nonsense. And her, I always remember, you know, like, um, uh, after school, and there's that, that push for the buzzies, like buzzies are coming and everybody wants to get on. And I remember Buzz, and I, I saw it happen. Buzz pulled up and it brushed. It brushed Natalie Kinsley's arm and she went down like a sack of shit. Like, because, you know, drama, she fell mm. on the floor. And I think she even closed her eyes. She was playing dead. <laughs> <laughs> was that you wish in <laughs> yeah. And a teacher come over, oh no, we're going to have to call an ambulance. And I remember Stephanie Mann, a best mate, was like, oh, I'm a best friend. I'm a best friend. I've, I'll, I'll, I'll go and tell her mum. I'll tell her mum. And, and, and she's just. She's like this on the floor. So they call an ambulance and I'm like, there's fuck all wrong with her. She's just after attention. So Stephanie Mann gets on the bus to go and tell Natalie Kinsley's mum her daughter's been run over. Stephanie's been run over. By a bus. And she they get out one two five. And I remember saying to lads, if we get on the five seven five, it'll drop us off um at the bottom of the road, but it doesn't go through a state. So we can get to her mum's house before she gets to her to tell her that her daughter's been run over. She would tell her spoiler news. There were nothing to do, so we just thought it'd be good for me walking past when she's, she goes and tells her mum. So we got on it, got up the hill, granted it all worked perfectly to plan. Just as we got to her house, the 125 come down, she got off the bus to go and tell Stephanie, uh, Natalie Kinsey's mum that she'd been run over. She come out, got off the bus, walked in front of the bus, bang, got it by a mini. <laughs> <laughs> Moment and she got proper it up, <laughs> up, up the body onto the roof. I remember it's a red mini Union Jack roof, and she went right up top and rolled back down again. And then Natalie Kinsley's mum come running out to house going, Stephanie, Stephanie, you're all right, you're all right. And she's getting up, she's going, Yeah, your Natalie's been hit by a bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's, she's concussed, she's always on her. Oh, 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 unbelievable. I didn't see that coming. No, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, one of my fondest school memories, that one. <laughs> Did you wallop either of them? No, no. Too, too much, much drama. drama. Too much drama. <laughs> Still yeah. keep in touch with them? No, no. I shouldn't have mentioned their names, really. I hope they're all right. <laughs> got a bit of sponsorship this week from uh, my wife's favourite brand. Go on, Chrissy. Since we got involved. Manscaped, of course. Oh, I thought you were going to say Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've, one step at a time, eh? we've, cle we've cleaned steps, the weeds John. out. Yeah. So, yep, Manscaped sponsoring the show once again. And the, the performance package... He's on a special offer for all you under-the-cost viewers and listeners. Once again, what you've got to do is go to manscaped.com and use the code COSH and you get 20% off. What have we got? The lawnmower 4? 4.0? The 4.0. Highly recommended by you, John. Yeah, I mean, I, I've just been away and normally I get a little bit of chafing, you know, in and out of pool yeah. and that. Which is normal. Not every, I think everyone does, but mm -hmm. since I've been using the Manscaped, sound, yeah, oh. not one yeah. little bit of discomfort. All off. Oh, fine. I've started designing my like, little tuft. Just leaving a little tuft. On, at the Very top nice, of the shelf, Chris. Like, just like I'm a I must oh, admit, I did go little for... Little nose tickler. I must admit, I did go for love art, but it was too hard. Yeah. Too hard to sculpt. Yeah. It was difficult. Do you know what I found as well? Um, two birds, one storm. A good way of doing it. I sit on the toilet, then reach back, and then get the shave in, and then no cleaning up afterwards. Excellent, Chris. Yeah, always. I didn't thinking. even think of that. See, I, I've actually gone one step further. I do mine in the back garden, so they, 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 they can just blow anywhere. You know what I mean? The neighbours, <laughs> neighbours are furious, but hanging the washing out just blows everywhere. Dead, dead dead. In fact, we've got we had some little blue tits nesting in his bird box, <laughs> and I think I think my, I think my pubic hair was the most comfortable bit of it. Put a little special for the little blue tits. Still got the lotions and portions. They do. Yes. Well, with with the performance package, like you said, you get the four point which is the new improved version. Gets it gets right down mm. where you need to. <laughs> you get the weed whacker. Weed whacker trims the, the comes noise. in handy for me, yeah. especially. Mm. Yeah, is. the wash bag. The wash bag. You've got to keep it all in it. Boxer the, shorts. Boxer shorts. They're comfy after you've cleaned them all up. And like you said, ball toner. The lotions and portions. Now we're talking, Johnny boy. He never, never looks so good. <laughs> well, like we said, all you got to do is go to manscaped.com and use the code Kosh, and you get twenty percent off. Performance package. Father's Day coming up as well. Oh, good idea. Excellent good Father's idea. Day gift, John. <laughs> well, I think my dad would probably raise his eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, dad. Well, he could trim him if he wanted to. He might <laughs> so, raise him. Sort your spuds out. Yeah. <laughs> my mum's asked me to get you this, dad. What is it? 
It's for you to shave, shave your one wood, Dad. Oh, no bother. I'm 78, son. <laughs> <laughs> that ship sailed. <laughs> Any more? Yeah, there's a few. Uh, first car, what were your first car? First car was a uh, Vauxhall Corsa. Man, we're a Vauxhall Corsa as well. Blue and man. Well, I, I brand fire new and all. We're it. Oh, yeah. Fresh off the press. Oh, Only man, because really. an old clapped out one. Only because uh, I, if you remember, his insurance were gastronomical, weren't it? So back then, you used to get a year's free insurance. So whatever I paid for the car monthly were only the same as what I'd have been paying for me monthly insurance anyway. So that's why I got a brand new one. Mm-hmm. Big piece the, of kit to be getting in a Corsa. Yeah. I weren't as room. big as this then. Uh, and then the year after, I got another brand new one. Fucking hell, who's buying these cars? You Me? buy it yourself? Yeah. He was rolling in it, Chris. Yeah. Uh, King of Barnsley. So the year after, 17. I bought another brand new Corsa with another year's free insurance. 12 month ban within three months. <laughs> <laughs> In the next, in the next twelve months in garage, <laughs> never fucking moved a, moved a mile. The you alloys and all that stuff, music. Yeah, I like, I like the subwoofer. I don't know, there were no boombox. They would have done, but it, it, it just doesn't have the same effect. Even when you've got Bill me up Buttercup pulling in when you blasted into the window. Yeah, <laughs> you got, got Abba. <laughs> what were you always? Golf. Great. Oh, yeah. they are golf. Silver, so first, golf. first car. Yeah, that's yeah. big, big. But I think I was. I think I was 18. Right. I did my knee, so I couldn't drive when I was... Is it 16 you can learn to drive? 17. 17. So I was quite an old... Golf's uh, a late. good car for a first car. It was really good. TDI. Flash bastard. Oh, what's, the, what's the one up from it? GTI, is it? Yeah, GTI's a big you car. Do. I couldn't afford a GTI. Or the insurance. Yeah. Can we now got that blue one at Preston? Yeah, that? you got your miles in that. Oh, fucking it. We're all, the most disgusting colour, but... Uh, Reliable. Oh, but incredible car. Yeah. But it was just a horrible blue. Reliable's not what you want at like 20 odd either, is it? <laughs> no, no. Oh, 25, 26. Yeah. Give XY fucking nice car. Yeah. And I was chugging up in a fucking, it was like a, a bit, yeah, like that, like that top, like a deep blue mm. filth. But to be fair, it just used to get abandoned in car park at Preston. We Did just it leave with door open just to get into it. Full of McDonald's fine. papers so and, and Greg's wrappers. Costa. Yeah. yeah, Costa Cups. We'll go, we'll, we'll, but we we'll, office guy, oh, sorry, little yeah, clap car, car, sir. Sir. Have you Have you ever had another job? No. You've never had a proper job, have you? Never. never. Paper boy? Car I, was shit, I was a shit paper boy as To be well. fair, at saying that, when I was 18, 19, mm. I was leaving Barnsley, I did a couple of shifts in my local. Did you? Yeah, when I was thinking about fucking football off. Quite, I, 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 I fancy it. Enjoyed it? Yeah. You know, like, just, and, but then... They said, look, you can't you can't pull one for yourself every time. <laughs> every time somebody buys a drink. But I did I did do a couple of shifts in my local. You, did get paid, paid. you just, used to work behind a bar, didn't you? Yeah, 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 I did it. Oh, that was when I were in my prime, that. Like oh half a half an audience had, had, had a trip in disabled toilets. <laughs> oh <laughs> you just give me number out with receipts. Did you, you creamy oh. bastard? You've got, you forgot your receipt. I don't want my receipt. You want this receipt. <laughs> oh, Quick to treat. God. Creep. I like that. That's our first installment of getting to know you. Is that it? Was that, it was well, I, could get, I don't I think you could have finished on a better feel, one than cars, like. You got no more. Well, we did job, didn't we? Oh, job, um, yeah. That was shit. Yeah. First job, first car. I'll, get, I'll give you another one. Have you, have you ever clogged a toilet? Hmm? Have you ever clogged a toilet? Yeah. <laughs> ex, it was Rachel's ex-girlfriend's. But it was a student house. Right. She had four friends. Four friends, and it was a proper job. Demolition job. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, and she, to be fair, she got involved with the. <laughs> she like you she told, did it. Yeah. I've got a problem. <laughs> hand down. She got the hand down and. Glove on? Oh, she'll have put a glove on. Rooks, uh, just a black bin bag. A thin slate one. <laughs> <laughs> of a club. One that was now with 10 litres of petrol. <laughs> and there was only one toilet. Oof. See, I'm leaving that. See, <laughs> just, you're just leaving it? Yeah. I'm not saying a word about <laughs> Drop it. Drop and run. I ain't been for a shit. <laughs> no one doing me that. I had a wee. Who's left that? Yeah, you've, got, you've, got another, you've got another five <laughs> people in the house we could have been. Not doing yeah. me. 
See, what yeah, you need, I can't believe she got in there though. What you need to do is you need to go. I mean, not so much now, but you know the old metal hangers, dismantle a metal hanger and get fucking prod in there. Yeah, I did it. And then it. Just chuck, just chuck, just leave the hanger in the bathroom. <laughs> not doing me either. Uh, well, on that note, to the managers, while we've uh, questions from uh, listeners, from the managers that have been spoke about. Within within the episodes, who would you most like to have played for if you could pick one? Whether they've been on or just been spoke about. Big Ron. Yeah? Yeah. I can't, I'm, I'm going to have to give you two. Uh, Warnock and Coyle. I'd love to have played for Coyle. In a good in a good team. When they were at Burnley. Burnley. Yeah. yeah. And flying and yeah. enjoying yeah. themselves. Just relaxed. I bet he was good, yeah. What about you? I like an holiday, so Nigel Clough, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great shout. Yeah. In fact, I might change my yeah. coffee. <laughs> yeah. We know you like a Boston holiday, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, then, I, I know that on the flip side, who would you not have liked to play for, apart from Blackwell? We're just taking him out apart straight from, away. Yeah. I, think, I think he's everybody's answer. Hmm. I don't know if I can answer that. Trying to think who's getting a bit of bad press. Yeah. Because everybody, I mean, I'd say there's only Blackwell that hasn't had a balanced argument for anybody who's ever slagged anybody off. Ryan we generally example. already had, we'd have somebody on who's, who backs them at the same time. Yeah. We've had both on that. He's had a both barrels, hasn't he? Yeah. Bad so he's, mine, he's mine who I wouldn't want to play for. Just to show you. Just like the 78 off. days, yeah. so whatever it were. It'd be good ent entertainment value, like if it fly on wall, but in terms of getting involved and running every day. If it gives you, two, if it gives you a couple of days off a week, fine. If it gives you Wednesday and your Sunday, fine, no bother. Yeah. But not it's 78 days. Even Bruce has had both ends of the spectrum, spectrum hasn't he? Positive yeah. and negative. Yeah. Steve Bruce. Mm. But I bet you he is good to play for. By the way... Wesley, Wesley. Do you know what I'd like to play for Wesley? I think I could. I, I think I could buy into it. You, you know I what? just think he, he, people just need to get involved and buy into what he's doing, and he'll, he'll take you places. He'd suck you in. Yeah. Hypnotize you. Yeah. I've, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've that with dumbbells. It, ne it nearly sucked oh, me some, in. Some spotters on this, Graham. <laughs> in fact, it nearly sucked me in every meeting. But then when I <laughs> when I thought to myself about it all, I realised no, he's not. He's not. But yeah. I'd Wesley, love... got to be on it. Yeah. Shall we uh, have a look at another Patreon? We missed one. This is another story. Uh, ben Pringle talking about Steve Evans. Oh, he might be up there. He's up there, isn't he? Stevie Evans? Yeah, yeah. big Steve. Not to, but, I, but I would like to see him covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not listening to the... If you're not listening, you'll, but you'll know. But the one, I think it was David Noble, wasn't it? David Noble had worked with him before at Boston. And when he signed for Rotherham, there's a good story on um, one of the meetings after they'd been beat. Yeah. we get it on? For my benefit. No. Yeah. No, I mean, we could put it on. I forgot all about that. <laughs> yeah. You've just thrown us a <laughs> curveball. Because I didn't think we were putting that on there. But yeah, <laughs> let's go for it. <laughs> I can't remember it. Obviously, he was at Crawley. He had quite a lot of success with Crawley, didn't he? So... In the first month or so, he kept mentioning Crawley and like how well they did. And he'd like go to individuals like, obviously Matt Tubbs was a striker at the time at Crawley. So he'd like, he'd go to an RDLO, he'd be like, do you think Matt Tubbs would have missed that chance there? Oh, like, no. do you think you would have, You do you think Tubbsy would have done that? He would have, he'd have had a hat trick by now. Like what, what the fuck are you doing? Like to, to like Nards and people like that. So he just kept going on about it. And we had David Noble, obviously, probably the funniest guy I've, I've seen in football. He, he sat down and Steve's gone. Um, so do you think you think Crawley would have let four goals in in eighteen minutes? Do you think like think Tub like banging on and Novice just gone? Bear in mind it's half seven in the morning. Novice has gone. <laughs> would you just shut the fuck up about Crawley? <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> just shut the fuck up about Crawley. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> They're fucking pub players. They wouldn't be able to lace my fucking boots. <laughs> Stop fucking going on about them. <laughs> Obviously, talking about the bomb going off, it fucking went off. To be fair, I'm just standing going off for this. He was behind the desk like this. He's fucking.
fucking rake this chair back, twatting the twatting the board anyway. <laughs> so it's getting heated there, just going back and forth each other. And, um, <laughs> at Rotherham, like the change rooms were up, up here, like in the building, and you walk down to like the mobile, which is what we used to have the meetings in. <laughs> there was like two sets of windows, which you could see up to where the change rooms were, so you could see if people were coming and walking down. Anyway, Nobby's just, yeah, he's lost his head, and he's like, Fucking cancel my contract. Fuck this. Bernie Man, he's been there three weeks. <laughs> cancel my fucking contract. Steve's gone, fucking get out. Da, 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 da. He's kept repeating louder and that. Like, cancel my fucking contract. Like, <laughs> battens are forward, slams the door. Steve's gone to the window, like, open the window. And you could just see a knobby walking up, like, his voice drifting off, still going, cancel the fucking contract <laughs> as he's gone into the thing. He's been there three weeks. He's just told Steve to cancel his contract about 84 times in front of the, front of the rest of the squad and then realised if he did, he couldn't sign for anyone else. It's the fact that he was, a new, he was one of his latest signings. Worked with him before, so we thought, I've got him. Yeah, he's I've, boxed off. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't need to worry. Shut it. the fuck <laughs> up while <laughs> crawling. <laughs> you just think everyone, everyone's reaction like. <laughs> it's when you, he, just... he probably thinks he's on a roll as well. He's got everybody. Yeah. You know, even though everybody's thinking, shut the fuck up about crawling. He's like, I'm, I'm selling them the dream here. This is what I did. This is what. Shut the fuck. You had to just drop with it. Yeah. And then oh, you're going to go the other way and blow up. And then he had to come back with his tail between his legs. A bit Because like, he couldn't sign for anybody. Uh, Jimmy Glass, wasn't it, when he went through his boots and his gloves in and just went, fuck, fuck I've it. had enough. I've fucking had enough of it. I've had enough of you. Yeah. I've had enough of this. Fuck this. He went calm and went, I don't even like you. <laughs> <laughs> that must have hurt the yeah. most. Yeah. I don't even like you. <laughs> the, the slower you say it, the more it means, I think. Will you just shut the fuck <laughs> up? About <laughs> crawling. <laughs> <laughs> there a question that we got. Who would you have on a five man under the cost quiz team pub quiz? Right, Matt Latiss. Yeah, I think. Yeah, Captain Chris Lattis. Chris Kirkland is going to everything about sport, Kirky. You could have Clark Clark Kyle Isle. Yeah, he was football's football's brilliant yeah. player. Ian Dowie. He were he down, was uh, yeah downer. What, what did he do, Debbie? He was uh, he built spaceships or something. Didn't he? <laughs> he built spaceships. Mm. Yeah, so that's four. Baz Rathbone. Bit Rathbone. Baz, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was thinking like a, a Luma Carri or a Martin Allen. I reckon it'd be good. You know, just for the swinging sixties. Mm. A quick break in play once again, gentlemen, from a message from our friends at NordVPN. We've, uh, you've been using it on, on holiday, haven't you? Certainly have. My accounts have never been as safe. Military grade security. That's all I'll say. I don't know who's in that hotel. No, you, yeah. I, well, not just that. You were you were watching uh, Netflix and all the games and everything. We Mexican. Just... Oh, see, si, see. Si. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching it all. Well, as we mentioned before, NordVPN is the number one VPN service. You can sort all your security out on your accounts, your passwords, your... Your bank details, all the, all the stuff you don't want anybody knowing about. Keep it tucked away in a drawer in a safe. It's like a safe on your phone and on your computer. Keeps it all nice and secure. It's true, Chris. And you can bench your geolocation. So you can, like we said, you can appear like you're in uh, in Turkey or Argentina and if there's a game on over there, all of a sudden you're watching it and you can get your Netflix a bit cheaper if you, you squeezing, tightening the belt a little bit. <laughs> Have we got an offer, Chrissy, talking to tighten the belt? We have got an offer, have we? The link's in the description, and if you if you join up with a link, you get a superb offer as being an Under the Cosh viewer and listener. You can sleep better at night, mark my words. Not VPN, the best in the business. No buffering, by the way, no buffering. We didn't mention that. Good quality. Essential. What about the worst? Who, who, would, who would you be, if you're in that Captain, team, who would you be up against? Captain Gary Roberts. <laughs> Gary Roberts, Ben Marshall... Um, Dean Windass, Andy Johnson. Can you imagine that? No, because I reckon John was quite intelligent. They'd all just be, yeah, no, but they'd, they'd all just be rolling around like getting their asses out of the <laughs> table and like, and then, I don't know, just, <laughs> <laughs> just like making fart noises. <laughs> oh, I forgot that it was ever a thing. Just it? making fart noises. <laughs> <laughs> so you can still do it. 
<laughs> just them, just get, run, get like chucking. Get that chassis on there. They'd just be chucking post, post turkey chassis. <laughs> like yeah. a, look at that, like a scratch car. The thing is, on that in, on the picture of the thingy that Matty put up, it looked like a proper granddad's belly. You know, the hard, but it's not, is it? No, it's fucking. The, the, ca- the camera done you no favours. Well, but... I've never been very photogenic. Yeah. So yeah, I reckon that'd be the worst. I don't think it'd go that bad. That. For... Anyway, maybe Jason Price in there just sat there not knowing what the fuck's going on. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be able to make a promise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Try it, Chris. <laughs> By the way, oh, to say he's been dieting and all that, they're the results he's got. What? Go on then, oh, breathe out. Breathe, no, <laughs> fucking breathe out. <laughs> I'm breathing out. You fraud. I'm breathing out. Breathe out, let it go. I'm pushing out. Let it go. Let it go. I'm gonna, let it go. Let it go. I'll be pants in a minute. I am. Let it go. Have we put the Manscaped ad out yet? Or... <laughs> <laughs> hey, wrong with that. Where were we then? Um, we had a quiz team. Quiz team. Yeah. We had a, a bad quiz team. Um, so we had another Patreon video, I think. My. This uh, your favourite? My favourite story, this. Wayne Biggins, Pigeons. <laughs> it's up there with one of the best stories. It is, isn't it? I out t- of nowhere. Yeah. Because at the time, I didn't think... And it was only the TikTok video that this I thought. It is a very... It's a generational story this no but it's, it is but it's not because and, and obviously the feel god god rest it, it, the souls the poor pigeons but it's the fact that it actually like it, these were prized pigeons they were worth thousands of pounds these yeah. pigeons but what i mean is it could only happen in the 80s this or oh, early right. 90s well it, i don't you, know because I, I, I and i don't know if i spoke about it when i were at cardiff i'm in my local right wednesday night so i've drove up tuesday and we used to go for a game of poker on a Wednesday night. And I, so I used to travel back down to Cardiff about 12 o'clock, get down there at three and get to bed. And obviously I went asked about training. Uh, so I'm in my local. So my local uh, hunter, should I say, you know when they move, he's got nine lurchers. Yeah. Like, he's got, yeah, he's got an oss. Yeah. Like, that, that just walks I was going to roll in his back. Hot and cart. So he phones me and he says... Uh, dirty fingers. They've all got dirty fingers. He says, John, John wrote smokes roll up. <laughs> yeah. He says, John, where are you? He says, oh, I'm just up at club. He says, uh, when are you going back down to Cardiff? I says, oh, tonight. He says, oh, fantastic. Could you do me a favour? He says, why, what's happened? He says, uh, well, we let some pigeons off in France, right? And my mate in, in Cardiff, one of his pigeons has come home with me, with mine. I says, what do you mean? He says, well, it's come home with mine. So it's wrong a wrong pack. With wrong f- flock. Flock. He says, uh, it's a right pigeon, I know. It's a right pigeon. I says, right, so you're telling me this pigeon's got let off at France and it's ended up in the wrong country and it's a right pigeon. <laughs> he says, ah. <laughs> I says, well, I'm... <laughs> I says, I'm no fucking pigeon expert, right? But it's 240 mile away. He says, can you take it down for me tonight? I says, well, what am I going to do? He says, I'll put it in a box, put some feed in and that, uh, take it down, phone the man when you get down, he'll come and pick it up. I says, right, yeah, no problem. So I went to his house, got like a, a box, we know it flat on top, an angle. Yeah. So I put it in back at car. So I'm driving down a car at one, two in the morning. It's fucking flapping about in this box. So phones the guy who went, I says, oh, I, I, I've got this pigeon from Gaz. He says, oh, can you hold on to it for us till morning? <laughs> <laughs> I says, what do you mean? He says, well, it's a bit late now, isn't it? You could have been a bedding back without cat litter. So I says, uh, <laughs> I says well, ah, if you want. I says, well, he says, I'll come to the training ground. He says, right, okay then. So I says, what do you want me to do with it? He says, to take it house. So I'm a fuck taking it in house. So I left it in car, and anyway, so I took it to training next day. Uh, and one of the lads was scared of birds, so I undid the thing and I picked this bird up and I've gone behind him, and I've just like let go of its wings, you know, so it flaps. Yeah. And he's fucking looked on his shoulder, honestly, his foot is shit his pants, right? <laughs> so I put, I've got it back in box. Anyway, this guy comes, he says, "Oh, thank you so much. It's my my best bird." And I, obviously, I'm thinking, well, it's fucking shite, isn't it? <laughs> Might be better off ringing it, right? And it, I never forget. He went, "There's a tenner there. <laughs> Tell Gas, thank you very much." As if I've got a game tenner. 
<laughs> I've had a pigeon in my car for 240 miles, <laughs> flapping like a fork. You know, stinky, but I've been shitting it back at boot. Well, it's in its box, isn't it? I didn't just let it fly around car. <laughs> so that's why this pigeon story reminates with me and all like. <laughs> but yeah, it's a rape pigeon. I'll never forget. It's a rape pigeon. <laughs> let's have, let's, let, uh, honest, yeah, it's one of my favourites. Definitely one of my favourite Patreon story, and up there, one of my favourites. Yeah. Sponsor, uh, sponsor my football kit. Uh, a company called Bezings in in Stoke, and uh, there were big race goods. You know, pigeons were thousands. They used to, and uh, after the game we used to have about fucking five or six pints in players' lounge after, and they were my sponsor. And they used to come and stand with us and all that. And they'd say, "Bert, we do us a favour. We we are, uh, we take pigeons home on the way home." And we, when you, as soon as you get home, we, we let them go because they're in a race. And if they come back here as quick as fuck, the good pigeons, we paid a few bob for them. So, so I have a few beers after, so he gives me pigeons. But I always race bike to get home to go to dogs. So I pull the car on drive, goes in, gets my fucking gear on, chains around, jumps in the cab to the dogs. No phones in them days, were they? Well, 89 aside for store, there were no phones. They were all dingy. So I get up next morning, house phone's ringing. Jane, it's Bob. Straight away, I've thought, oh, for fuck's sake. I went, hey, Bob, all right. He went, did you let them pigeons go? I straight, I've left them in fucking boot at car. It's still, <laughs> boot, it's still in boot at car. <laughs> so I've gone, yeah, let them go straight away, Bob. <laughs> I, I went on house phone, so he went, we've not come back yet. I went, you're fucking joking. He went, it's a few thousand, two quids was there, like. So I went, well, I let them go, Bob, honest. So I went trying to, I won't take fucking boot work out. It was shit, feathers everywhere. <laughs> On boot, let fucking pigeons go. Goes out, usual Sunday day thing. Goes back in, I phones him up. I went, Bob, he went, if you just fucking come back. He went, I've done them. I've rung, I've rung them, he says, they're no good to me now. And I've sat in there for... He rung them, Joe. And I tell you what, if he listens to this, that's the first time I'll know. Because I, I still swear... If I ever go back and see him, he he, he thinks I let him go. <laughs> right away. Half a dozen. On the subject of Biggins, I think you've said it on the quiz. Oh, hi. He gets a random phone call. Oh, yeah. Go on. What a, what a... So he gets a random phone call from, a, from this number he doesn't know, obviously. Uh, and he says, oh, I've heard, I've heard you on the cosh... Absolutely incredible. Like, I says, I says, who is it? Noel Gallagher. Noel rang him? Yeah. He said, obviously, he's a City fan, isn't he? Bert played for City. Yeah, yeah. says, Noel Gallagher. He, he says, had to pull uh, over, didn't he? He said, I've, I've had to pull over, get your number, in fits of laughter. So, Noel, he, so Noel Gallagher. Gallagher's somehow got Bert's number from somewhere. Not only is he a listener, he's a Patreon, Patreon. by the way. If it's good enough for Noel. Yeah. Oh hi, because it's good enough for yeah, you. Yeah, I've only just put, I've only no, just put that to us all together. Yeah. Do you think he uses a fake email address, like Robbie? Yeah, we have got Robbie and Noel as, as Patreons. And uh, Woody, Woody the drummer. Yeah, Woody the drummer. <laughs> well, yeah, he is, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that is. Yeah. Woody the drummer. Bastille. Yeah. Hey, who do you think, who do you think our famous, collection? most famous listener is? Well, are we going to... Are we can, getting we, can we top? Can we top Robbie and Noel, do you think? No. Nah. No. Who else can we go? Elton? Someone, Prince what, William. Lizzie? Yeah. <laughs> Prince William. He might do, you know. He's, 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 <laughs> he's Royal <laughs> Highness. <I'm telling> <laughs> Will, big, big Willie style at hotmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> he's Royal Highness, Prince William. <laughs> dot co dot uk <laughs> fucking boom <laughs> 250 a month I'm surprised yeah. if, if I'd not been in Turkey we could have ended up on that stage at Jubilee <laughs> just doing a, a podcast with somebody from Aston Villa <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're not getting any bigger than that are they Noel and Robbie are, I don't think we're going to get bigger that are we if there's any famous people listen just what can they do oh, out there uh, uh, just stick your hand up make yourself known yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Next Somehow. time you're on stage, give us a shout out. Yeah. Or you're doing a movie or, yeah. or something. Just, just drop you it. to get on stage with yeah. a big, big hitter. Aren't you going to Bastille? Are they not at somewhere? Um, yeah, yeah, they're at Kendall this year. 
Well, you made it up, aren't you? No, I dropped him a message. Uh, I, I, I said, oh, look, really looking forward to it. Um, because they, they replaced somebody else look, really, really looking forward to it. And I was hoping he was going to say, oh, yeah, a few backstages there. And then he was like, no, yeah, enjoy it. Might see you. <laughs> might, see, might give you a wink <laughs> from behind, the, behind spinning, the bongos. I'm spinning my drumsticks. <laughs> they might give you a point. That's for you. <laughs> Points in a wink with a stick. So I just said, good luck. Cheers, mate. Yeah. It's not, to be fair, it's not, not too, not too bad. And is that, innit? Have we got what? We've got one more. I believe Patreon best bit is a smudge getting shot. Another another out of the blue. Didn't expect it. Bloody yeah. good one. I think it's Dino's accent in it. Dean Furman's the way he tells it, and the joy on his face as he's telling it. Because <laughs> you're right, happy go lucky chap, isn't he? Yeah. They're right, just it's one of the guys who just think he's happy. Yeah, just looks Do happy. You remember, like when you think about the level that he's played at, Dean Furman, obviously for South Africa. Like the, the players that he's played with against Brazil and and you know who he shared a pitch with Ronaldinho's and it's incredible really. And he'll be a list over there, yeah. South Africa. Oh, South Africa captain. That's what I mean. Certain circle, it, it, football mad man. country. In that circle, he's massive. <laughs> he's, he's more famous than Robbie. And... <laughs> Do you ever listen? Yeah. What happened? The, was it the year before when you went out with Alder? It was the year, year before. Everyone kind of gets a night out, don't they, at the end of one of those trips. Anyway, so we got Matt Smith, big posh lad, um, amazing guy. I absolutely love him. Um, the nicest guy, educated, like brilliant guy. Um, he's got in a taxi with uh, Dean Buzanis, who's the goalkeeper at Sutton. Um, so they've got in a taxi. Anyway, cut a long story short, they've had a fight over. 10 euros so basically the, the taxi driver said they said can we get some food the taxi driver I'll, I'll get some food don't eat in my car they've ate their burgers in the back of the taxi so when they've given him the the money they want the change and the taxi's gone you eat in my car you eat in my car no change so then boozy's obviously giving him a bit he said give us our give us our fucking money um, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway they've obviously had a bit they've got out of the taxi at browns start walking back to browns and apparently the taxi drivers got out the taxi, pulled a gun. What? Oh pulled a gun and started shooting at them. <laughs> <laughs> and Live round. This, this is why you need Big Smudge to, to say the story, because apparently he's gone, Boozy, run for your life. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you know what, you know what, Browns, you know Browns, you go, you go like up the stairs, Smudge is crawling up the stairs, <laughs> Boozy's been shot in the leg. Uh, <laughs> And you know that the doors are like the doors are like uh, those electric sliding doors, but because it's two, three in the morning, the night the security guards locked them, and Smudge is open the door. <laughs> <laughs> so they've st they've they've got back to the room. Uh, Boozy's been shot in the in the leg. Turns out it's a pellet gun or a BB, a BB gun, whatever. Gun. <laughs> you don't know it, but someone someone pulls a gun on you. You, <laughs> don't really you don't know. So they've had to call the physio. And as I said before. Uh, a trip to Browns was a stag do for the gaffer and his staff. Um, so the physio, <laughs> apparently they're, they're out. They're, they're all having a great night. The physio's got a call saying, John, Boozy's been shot. <laughs> <laughs> Mando, Mando. So, so, so John's, John's, the physio's had to go to, to Dickie and say, gaffer, your goalkeeper's been shot. <laughs> He's going to come on, small Jenny. Yeah. Also, be good to hear that story f f for Stan, yeah. wouldn't it? Boozy! <laughs> <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> Keeper's been shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Classic, man. I, I know we've said that, that was the last Patreon best bit, but there is one other bit that I'd like to to uh, us to put on, to put it out there to the wider audience, because I feel like I've taken a lot of stick in the past with regard to... Uh, research, should we say, and getting names wrong. And when you do, he likes to let you know about oh. it, doesn't he? He jumps straight on it. You're the first one. I feel what like, are we working with there? Fuck yeah. sake. I feel as though this is something that you two have cooked up while I've been away. <laughs> no. So, I mean, I feel that the wider audience need to see this little clip from um, Tony, Tony Daly. It's one of my favourite pa Patreon moments, I'll be honest. Can't remember, remember, can't remember what's coming now. <laughs> Richardson, uh, Dean Saunders, uh, um, 
Uh, Andy, Andy Townsend. Yeah, Andy Carlton Townsend. have been there then. Sorry, Carlton Palmer. Yeah, in terms of you talking about, it wasn't at Villa. Villa. Yeah, you no, know, when you go to Villa, you tried to what? get him. Vill- Carlton Villa. Palmer yeah. at Villa. <laughs> Oh, no. fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of fucking Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where he was, yeah. <laughs> Still early. It's not even 12. It's only 12 o'clock. <laughs> fuck me, yeah. <laughs> it's done me, that. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, you tried your best to answer it for him as well. I was thinking of the guy from the English thing, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. of the yeah. last yeah. Birmingham area yeah. connection. Yeah. 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 That's what's fucking yeah. got us. Yeah. 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 Fuck me. <laughs> To be fair, I think I've got to wear murder there that Tony's such a nice fella. Because <laughs> it, it could have, like... The gone. Birmingham area. You know, the Birmingham area. <laughs> what? Yeah, Can't in town as well. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm thinking of Sheffield Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it was only 5 to 12. You're going to cut him some slack. It could have uh, It could have just actually C-bombed me off, couldn't yeah. it? Yeah. You fucking moron. That made my day, that did. It made my year, I think. You'll never forget it, Chrissy, will you? But there's been there's some some great bits in the uh, in the Patreon. I said I forgot all about that. There's some there's some other crap. I mean, there's loads. Uh, 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 Jamie Proctor. There's some great ones in there. Um, I got a bit, that was um, Feeney. The tip, the Christmas tip. I, f- I didn't see that coming, and he just came out with it. What when he didn't give him really one? Because he was your boot boy, wasn't he? Yeah, and he, he caught us off guard. But I still think he was probably on 45 quid a week. I'm giving him a week's wages. He was saying 100 to 200 quid average were it for, for a Christmas bonus. Yeah. And you give him what? I had two. I give him and Jamie Douglas 50 No, each. but you give, you give him 50, what? 50, 50 quid. quid. A week's wages. I'm still... You're still fighting your corner? Yeah. Nah. nah. Is that a week's wages for him? For him. He was in the youth team. So I'll tell you what he's giving him, 45 quid. Right? He's giving him a pound a week. <laughs> For Cliddy, Cliddy, your boots for a year. You give him no, a no, Christmas week. bonus. Give him a Christmas bonus, and then I give him fifty quid at the end. Oh, so no, oh, works. no, no, no way. Give him fifty He's quid at the end as well. You fuck. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll get you next. I'm not earning money on me. I'll get you next season. <laughs> <laughs> Out of contract. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, like so even if still, so he's giving him two pound a week. Yeah, still he gives him a fifty. So cleaning your corpus in top shape. Mm. So when you break, he, was, he was really good at it. When as well. you break that down, he's probably getting thirty-three pence a day. Yeah, and there's numerous times that you call people tight bastards as well for for being stingy, yeah. and the cat's out the bag now. But I'm, I'm sure you take it on the chin. I'm sure you've, uh, I'm sure you've sorted him out now, aren't you? Oh yeah, yeah. I got bought my coffee when he did the podcast, <laughs> <laughs> and so he had some of my chicken wings now. <laughs> Somebody asked, do you think that if there are uh, any players that are playing today? Because we've mentioned on, on previous episodes that there's, there's oh there's nobody playing these days that are, you know will be out of a job in in years to come. There's nobody will have any stories. Do you think there are anybody who's still playing today that will be Grealish? All right, to so come on, Grealish, yeah. Declan Rice, Andy Carroll, Andy Carroll. Oh, he's come at the end, though, isn't he? Mm. In terms of young uns, mm. Pickford. Not- be entertaining. Jordan, I have a few tales. Yeah. Stonesy. Oh, by the way, just on Jordan Pickford, can you remember at the start of this season, the football season, someone in this podcast thought quite adamantly and strongly that Everton would make the top four. Yeah. And you need to improve your football knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> I think we laughed you off the. Yeah. I, I was convinced as well. I thought they'd do all right. But, you know. Saying that, though, you and Marlon Haywoods, you said Conte will lose the dressing room in two months and I'll fuck off. Oh, well, can we not? We just had a bash at me. <laughs> we? Yeah. Yeah. No, we just had a bash at me. Yeah. <laughs> Conte will be off in two months, lose the dressing room. <laughs> Shit on leave, leave his desk. Although I did say Richarlison will get you relegated. You did. You did, so we've all been guilty. Of. We all make mistakes, that's why pencils have rubbers. <laughs> I like that. No, it's been, a, it's been a great series. Fucking clocks are miles up and all mine, don't we? we? Have. And we're, we're going to have more away trips coming next year. What's your favourite trip? That we've done? W- Wembley, Sunderland. Game right involved. Yeah. I, I think I need to be more pissed for these away days. Yeah. 
Because I end up watching the game. I mean, just just soaking in that atmosphere of uh, a trip to Wembley. You know, the experience for the for the fans. You know, you know, a bit neutral, but then you get you get involved. Get sucked in. You get sucked into it. Yeah. But um, we'll be back Augustish with a well, new series. When you're next in the country, John. Yeah. <laughs> No, but thank you very much. No, everybody massive for thanks to everybody who's uh, who supported us through the series and enjoyed this series, and we'll be back with another series very, very, very soon. But don't forget, in the next two months, what we in June, July, or, yeah, in the next two months, Patreon episodes will still be coming out. Yeah, if you fancy yeah. getting involved in that, and the live shows as well, we've got the live shows coming up in September. Um, tickets are going like hotcakes. Are they really? I believe. Oh, yeah. I believe. Favourite question on Patreon that Go you on. put out. It's not even a... Well, it is a question. The wife's Ford Focus broke down five minutes into her work commute this morning. So she walked back home and caught me scuttling the next door neighbour in our bed. For future reference, what would you say is more reliable? A VW Golf or a Toyota Prius? <laughs> <laughs> scuttling as well. I'll scuttling. Tell you what, to be fair, the next one must have scuttled around very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> If she's five minutes, only five minutes gone, it must, it must have been like a fucking, you know, one of them. Uh, as soon as she has the gate click, yeah. yeah. Go on, so, whoosh, as soon as the Prius gets up. But I can Scuttling recommend Scuttling doesn't sound as, like. As we do know. Yeah. Scuttling yeah. doesn't sound like good sex, does it? Nah, it a scuttle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, well, I'd go for the Prius. i go for the Prius. Would you recommend yeah. the Prius? Yeah. Just, yeah, but I don't just know, but. Messaging him back saying, uh, are you moving out? Are you going to try and small things over? Yeah, let us know. Yeah, let yeah, us know. Okay, you... Give us an update. Who's that from? Uh, Paul Myers. Paul Myers. Hope everything's um, working out in the love life. Get through Marriage. that one. Yeah. Why did you mess about saying the wife never been so turned on? Got him with us. Yeah. What oh, see that? See, see that? See that? This is the this is the kind of guy I'm working with. That's tier two content, isn't it? Bonus content. <laughs> it's the What about this with. one? Chris, fellow Mackham in Leeds, is it true you used to go around the Cooper Rose telling the women you're a footballer? Great podcast, lads. I can confirm that. Is that true? No, you can't. Hey? No, Chris Brown, can't. footballer. <laughs> no. I never used to go in the Cooper Rose. I think it was like a Weatherspoons. Full kit on. He's going in his corpus. Somebody will correct this. I also saw one, apparently... It was on the message boards that someone's asked us the time when I was out. And I've gone, it's half past two grand. What, Billy, 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 yeah. Billy Big Bollocks? And that, does, that doesn't happen. I've never heard it. I've heard it amongst lads in changing rooms. But I've, 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 I've imagine, never heard that. Imagine going up with somebody and saying, oh, have you got the time, mate? And me going, oh, it's half past two grand, mate. See, to be fair, I, I've, ne I've never seen him wear a watch. Yeah. Apart from that, when you're like recent with these, the Apple Watch, uh, whatever yeah. that job he is. Uh, so, so I, I'm going to back you up on that one. I do that. I, I obviously not. Did you never have one like... of them with diamonds in and all that? Nah. A Bradley Hall special. Yeah. Mickey Holland. I nah. thought you had one of them. Me? Yeah. Nah. I'm sure you did. I'm sure. Washbag. I'm sure I saw it. I'm sure I saw, it, I'm sure I saw it at your house in Manchester. I think you had yeah. one of them. Dinner plate. Half no, past two. No grand. one. No one. The one with the old. It's not me. Come on. Well. Change it subject quickly. No, like, uh, Chaddy. Yeah. I think you had one of them, me. Frank Muller. Diamantes. No. Uh, Jacob and Co. Oh, yeah. I think you had one of them. <laughs> Big sundial. <laughs> I'm almost... In fact, I'm almost sure you did. I'd have said more than half, half past two grand, because they're about 30, aren't they? <laughs> half, past no, 30, yours half past 30 grand. <laughs> half, <laughs> half past 45 quid. <laughs> well, yeah, that's not true. No. In I, fact... I think I said uh, the Littlands mum I was a financial advisor when I first met her. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm Chris. I'm a financial advisor. I've got fucking shit loads of money. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you go for financial I advisor? Did you? Why? Yeah. Do you not want to say? Do you I, be I, I never say I'm a footballer. I never said I was a footballer. Oh. I just think it's an easy way out, isn't it? Yeah. Why did you not go for like window cleaner? There's got to be some. some <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, I, I always used to, uh, I don't know if I probably have, I always used to say I'm an underwater candle juggler, right? So then you, 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 I could gauge straight away, have I said this? <laughs> Go on. So you could gauge straight away what type of girl you're talking to. So if they just fuck off. But underwater, I'm like, what do you do? Oh, I'm an underwater candle juggler. Try this, chaps, right? So if they go, face drops, miserable bastard. Go on, move on. Yeah. 
Not, not, not with a shoe light, obviously. Yeah, with a sankey. <laughs> <laughs> Underwater kind of a, huh, funny. Yeah. Dickhead, right? So somebody starts laughing. Yeah, you know they've got a shit sense of humour. You, you, you think, oh, they've, they've got a bit of sense yeah, of humour. If somebody goes, really? You know they're fucking slack as a bag of knackers. <laughs> Come and get a drink, love. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you use it. It's it's miserable, miserable on your bike, love. Census, uh, the John Parking census. Yeah, laugh. They've obviously got a bit of sense of humour. Yeah, you pass the test. Oh, uh, in fact, there's four. There's one where you think, and they, they think about it, and they're like, "What? Really?" And you could see them working Processing. it out. Yeah, yeah. They're all right. But, but, but if they go, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Two gin and tonics, love. Taxi! Half oh, past four and a half grand. <laughs> <laughs> Time to fucking go on. <laughs> no, but thanks everybody for listening yeah. and watching the whole series, and we'll be back. And any younger, do try the underwater candle juggler. And if you do miss us, the Patreon is still available, two, two pound fifty a month. Is and you it, get them two extra episodes, it'll be out every month. Time to get off, lads, I need to unpack a case. <laughs> off again. I'm off. Have you unpacked it? I am. Did you ever play a fat girl rodeo? No.